So um, we're Team Spaghetti, and this is our product. We created Loop, um, and let's just go around for an introduction really quick. So um, Alvin's going to be performing the demo, and then my name is Angie. I'm Justin. Uh, I'm Karen. My name's Sean. Taylor. I'm Ryan. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to start with just showing off the, the profile view. Um, so Alvin, I'll have you look at contacts. So he just has to look at it for two seconds, and then it'll select and open up. And then let's say that he wants to talk to Taylor. So uh, right now his eyes are on Taylor uh, on the screen. And after two seconds, it should open up his profile view. So we'll give that. We'll wait for that. Okay, so he's he's um, s selected Taylor. So now um, these three messages are the messages that he's said to Taylor a lot. So um, if he stares at, for example, "How are you?", the device will s actually use um, text to speech and speak it out for him. So if maybe uh, so go ahead and stare at "How are you?". How are you? Cool, so that worked. <laughs> and so let's say he wants to type a new message. Um, he'll hover over the keyboard or the, the pencil symbol to open up the keyboard. OK, so now that it's open, he's going to start typing um, whatever he wants to say. So in this case, using the loop keyboard. So this, the thing about the loop keyboard is that it's based off the eight pen keyboard. And how that works is starting, he should stare right at the center. And then um, choose the, I suppose the the character that he wants to type out by moving to that quadrant and then going over one of the lines and then bringing it back to the center. And then we chose to do it this way because it uh, improves the accuracy, or and it doesn't rely too much on um, I guess being accurate and choosing the letter as it is. So. Um, So he's typing something here. And then um, let's say, let's have you type hi, and then um, he'll select done, and it should speak it out as well. All right, so after that, he can go back to the profile, um, and then just back to the menu. And um, in the future, more items will be placed on the menu, and also just more profiles as well in the, the contacts view. And yeah, so that is loop. And let's go back to the, uh, the main okay. menu. And of course, it depends on the person who's using it uh, for the, the eye tracker to be more accurate with selecting the buttons. There were a lot of things that we wanted to implement um, that we didn't have time to, I guess. Um, and then also just with the hardware as well, the eye tracker can be very inaccurate sometimes. Um, and um, I guess also that none of us are uh, UI designers, I guess. So that was another thing. Um, and uh, I guess, can anybody think of anything else? All right, thank you.